In this video, I will show you two ways of creating a class object that allows for method chaining. So I've already gone ahead and spun up a basic object called data object. I've defined the init method, uh, which is the constructor, and I've assigned a private variable for the object itself equal to a parameter called data. The data value by default is equal to an empty string. Next, I've generated a representation or two string method to return a string of these of the object's private variable and then or the data itself. And then I've also generated a an additional function that returns not a string format of it, but the data object itself. Um, I've already gone down here and generated a string which we'll be working with and then I've defined a new object called d1 which is equal to the class data object and I've assigned it to this value. So if I come down here and I say print or python method chaining I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 just as the string value is set. Next let's go ahead and let's create a new method. Let's call it define string to, to list. We type self and then I'm going to give it a delimiter or in other words a separator and I'm going to auto assign it to a comma. I'm also going to force it as a string type. Next, I'm going to run a try except with a type error. And then I will begin a return statement. So I am going ahead and copy this before I make any changes. And I'm going to instantiate a new object of the data object class. So it will have the ability to call the methods. And that's kind of how you do data object chaining. So I'm going to say a new data object. And I'm going to assign its variable of data, or when it is initialized by the constructor, we want it equal to a list. So to make it a list, we take the current data uh, variable parameter or the object, self.object, obj, and we're going to say split that by the delimiter. So if we go ahead and we come down here and we do dot method chaining with this, we can say string to list, I'm going to leave it as a comma, and then if I print this out, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a list. Now let's do the same thing and let's convert it back to a string. So I'm going to say list to string, keep it all pretty much the same, and I'm going to instantiate a new object and then instead this time since we have a list object I'm going to use the join function to say string format uh, separate by the delimiter and then go ahead and join the list self.object and now if I come down here and type list a string, it returns itself back to a string. Let's clear this out real quick. Another option for formatting, at least that I've come across, is instead of insta or instantiating a new data object, you can just return the self. So what I mean instead is I can say self dot underscore obj is equal to, just like we're doing in here, is equal to this, and then simply return the existing object. So I can say just return self, and I can do the same thing with this. And then return self. So if I come over here and type Python, it gives me the string. If I remove it, it gives me the list. And I remove it again, it gives me the original string. 
thanks for watching. I hoped it helped. Um, if you have any comments or better ways of doing dot method chaining for a custom object, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what's going on and have a nice day.